Hey everyone, my name is Vinay and you're watching Edge Smart. Today I'm here to share you uh, my interview experience with Accenture and the three common mistakes that most of the people do in the recruitment process of Accenture. So I have cleared the interview interview of Accenture recently and I got my offer letter for AAC role. Uh, but however, there are some common mistakes that people commit. I will share it, uh, those mistakes along with the interview experience. So the first thing is uh, the return round, right? Uh, be, uh, you have to be ready with your PAN card for Accenture. That is mandatory. So in the written test, uh, you people try as it is online these days. People are trying to send all the questions to your friends. Uh, but the thing is, do not try to send the questions of networking and MS Office to your friends. It is absolutely no use because the questions were very lengthy and it takes a lot of screen space. And if you try to uh, capture those pictures, there are chances that you will be caught on cam and you are. Uh, procedure like you will be cancelled like uh, you will be caught under malpractice so that is a very big thing uh, if you try to take the pictures of networking and ms office so please do not try to take such pictures uh, that is not recommended and try to solve them by yourself and if you can t send the pictures of uh, the first rounds like um, aptitude and reasoning uh, you can do that and even for english you can try to do it by yourself that uh, if you are good at English, you can do it by yourself. But don't try to send the questions. It's absolutely no use and time waste. So I thought uh, I will not even clear the first round because I have kept blindly the options for networking and MS Office. Uh, I have not even, I don't get even time to read those questions. So I, I have blindly chosen the options. But uh, for English and technical and uh, reasoning and uh, aptitude, I did them, uh, so there was no, uh, I have a, I was able to clear that. I'm damn sure about that. I think uh, so. I have done those, but there were sectional cutoff as well. If you even consider the sectional cutoff, I should not clear this first round for MS Office and networking because I have completely chosen blindly. I have not even read the questions complete. I don't even have the time for that. So I thought there might not be any um, sectional cutoff for these two sections. This is not a guaranteed. What I thought it was. If maybe I was lucky enough to clear that, uh, I'm sh saying honestly this is. Now this was the first mistake that people do trying to share the pictures of networking and MS Office. You cannot capture that pictures and it is uh, risky and I don't recommend this. So don't do this mistake. So once you clear this written down, uh, don't take much time for starting the coding round. So please do start the coding round as soon as you get the, uh, as, as soon as you ask you are asked to do so. If you take time in between the return round and coding round, uh, your time will be uh, cancelled and you have to wait for the rescheduling of mail. So this is something that I don't recommend. Uh, once you complete the return round, as soon as you complete the first round, please do sit there and give the next round that is coding assessment. This is mandatory. If not, you have to wait again for the rescheduling of coding round. So I was I have wasted time in that. So I have, I have to wait for rescheduling of mail. So don't do this mistake. And the next, uh, I have cleared the coding round. In, while in the coding round, um, please do ensure that you are writing code uh, C. I see people uh, copying it from uh, online resources. Most of the questions are available online on all websites. These are very pretty easy questions on Accenture coding questions. Everybody can solve both of the questions and 100% test cases. But the thing is, you might be caught under plagiarism. People think so and they will try to change the names. So. Please be careful while you are changing the variable names because uh, if you change the variable names from the what you get like the code you get you will somewhere uh, with uh, like you will be in hurry and bury case and you will try to change you will forget to change some variable names and you will again trap in errors and your result may not be expected as expected so please don't do this mistake uh, be uh, patient and clear check all the variable names in this you will easily clear this two coding questions with 100% test cases and post this this was there was an interview round so here in the interview the next common mistake is not being ready with your project the only thing that they are concerned about in this uh, for ASC role is only uh, your project you have to be clear cut uh, with your project uh, I did my project by myself but I didn't tell that that I did by myself uh, I said that was a group project she asked me a lot of questions like uh, of how did you manage your people like how did you manage your teammates and all uh, i was not really managing my teammates and all but i said that um, we we had zoom meetings we were uh, people uh, we usually uh, check each other's progress and uh, we used to explain uh, things what we have done and all 
so i i i made a lot of bluff and stories over there uh, she really thought that that was all true but that is something that you have to consider you know uh, this was for us it was a mini project and i have to do it by myself you know uh, by single in our college group projects are not enough for mini project so i did by myself but uh, what expected in the interview was you have to mingle with teammates and all so they expect this so they ask you such questions so please be ready with uh, such answers for that so maintain that i have to maintain a group for that uh, like i have maintained a whatsapp group and i have conducted frequent meetings for people use such terms so that the interviewer will be happy so she will ask you a lot of questions on your pro, uh, project so she uh, one such question was uh, uh, like if you were given time to work on the same project what changes would you like to bring so this was a question that i have not expected at that moment uh, but i was able to create a spontaneously an answer for that so in this what you have to tell is one of the things that your project is lagging behind like uh, if your project is not good at taking the picture of all the images like all the persons available over there like in the web webcam you have to tell her that minor mistakes that can be easily uh, uh, resolved you know you have to tell such mistakes so that she will be happy this question was asked to check what are the mistakes in your project by yourself now you, they are asking this question to check your mistakes so don't tell large mistakes and huge mistakes that she, uh, the impression will be gone so use small mistake that can be easily resolved so that she can, she will be okay she will be fine that so there are no mistakes with this project this can be completely accepted the interview will think so so do uh, mention uh, be ready with this and uh, what is your role in your project uh, say i have i have done the development part of this project uh, you should be ready with that so while you are explaining the project make sure that you are talking about your uh, coding like uh, also mention the technical part of that project don't just say what is this project and uh, try to include the technical terms as much as possible and you also be ready with that uh, explanations so if you explain this then she will be in a thought that okay this guy already know lot of things about his project and he is very good at the technical part so i have mentioned lot of technical terms in while explaining my project she didn't even talked about uh, my technical skills you know she has talked about uh, my extra curricular activities what did i do and all whatever was mentioned in the resume so she asked a lot of questions on my resume so i was not asked any question on the technical part uh, she was very much happy with my all my answers uh, the interview was very cool and she was very uh, friendly with me so this is something that you will get uh, please be you have to maintain a lot of smile on your face while answering questions as well as you have to be very much confident when you are answering these questions if you are not confident and if you are not at all smiling it really seems ugly and it is not uh, friendly for the interviewer as well they will be in a mood like i should cancel this interview i should come out of this like no oh, that is not some good gesture so please be smiling uh, with little smile and answer the questions with confidence and if you do not know something please be uh, you can be honest and tell that i do not know this but don't try to bluff her so much no if you do so that will be a negative marking so that is all about the accenture interview process and the common mistake that people do not preparing with a resume not preparing with the project and trying to copy uh, and the coding round and not changing the variable names and in the first round the trying to send the networking questions to your friends so these are the common mistakes that you must avoid uh, and if you avoid these mistakes definitely you will be able to clear this in the communication assessment uh, people will uh, you have to get ready for different kind of accents you now the accent will be changing thoroughly you know uh, first a lady will be uh, coming and she will be speaking she might be from german or she might be from us and the another another guy will come and this guy will speak with a different accent so you have to be uh, adaptable to all those accents you have to be you should not watch the screen you should your concentration should only be on your ears your ears must concentrate on the audio while this uh, communication accent round you know that is very much crucial in order to crack this uh, communication assessment uh, that is all about this accent jo this was very cool and uh, this there is no worries at all you can simply crack this interview and you'll be uh, uh, getting a 4.5 package for this uh, i think uh, yeah Uh, and if you have any other questions you can feel free to ask in the comment section below and if you wanted to know about a learning task as well as the compensation uh, what is the package or when will be the joining bonus and all such things you can ask me uh, what about the hike and all you can ask me in the comment section below i will try to make another video for that so do not forget to share it with your friends who are applying for accenture now thank you